all the rules of Vatican II and the whole the council was going to work was all set up as to who was in charge, who was going to work everything out. And then Joseph Ratzinger, through Cardinal Frings, helps to provoke a revolution at Vatican II to change the rules and to take control of the council from the Northern European countries. Now, as we said, to be fair, a similar thing happened at Vatican I. And things happen, things like this happens at council. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. It could be a bad thing. It could be just sort of some providential working of God. But here's where the rupture comes in, is that Joseph Ratzinger presents a thorough critique of the schema on revelation, de fontibus revelationis, on the, on the founts of revelation, on the, on the, um, the, the foundations, these, these sort of, these different streams of revelation, which are scripture and tradition. And he presents this thorough critique to the bishops of this schema. And then here's where the rupture comes in. He helps to write on a totally alternative schema for this whole document. Well, this is the fundamental rupture of Vatican II, is that we have all these documents already laid out. And what, what ended up happening from the very beginning was that instead of creating a continuity with these documents, those documents were literally thrown into the trash. I think we can concede the fact that there were issues with the schema, but if there's issues, you don't create this sort of this militant atmosphere that was created at Vatican II, at this, this strong um, uh, infighting between Catholics. Uh, and you don't just throw them out, create a brand new thing, because that creates a rupture.